I'm lucky enough to have an iPad cart. There's uh, 25 iPads, although most of them are being used right now. And I have about 44 students, so I have to put them into pairs of two so that they have iPads. And then I also put them into squads of four. true meaning that will give them more skills and make them more marketable when they apply for their internships and of course other jobs. And I wanted to make lessons that made the kids say. I use Google Docs every day, or mostly every day, as you can see. Um, I make projects and presentations and I save them. And I could just open them wherever actually. And I, have, I actually downloaded the app on my phone. When I first started using Google Docs, I didn't really understand it, but from time to time, I was using it in class and I started understanding it and the, the equations and everything with the spreadsheets, they helped me, they helped me like put my information there and now I use it and I understand it and it's actually like really helpful in my school life and I, I would use that over a uh, paper. When Mr. Mendoza told us we could use Google Docs for the rest of our life, I thought he was just king. But it ended up being, I use it for the rest of my life. I personally use it for culinary competitions called Cooking Up Chains and the and Google Docs helped me to organize all my recipes and as well as keep track of what ingredients goes in what product. So this is a recipe? Yes. Because you're in an academy for culinary arts? Yes. Hey, that looks good. Come on. Get it started. Come on. Get it started. Yeah. Get it started. Let's get it started. Ha. Let's get it started. Get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Yeah. Lose control. A body of soul. Like I have around like the 20, 30 spreadsheets in here. Documents and no one in this class could be me in. Yeah, right, man. What the heck? I got like what? 50? I got 50, 50 for each class. Stop for this it. Class. You don't even gotta lie about that, bro. I have the most. Look. Not even, man. Do you even know who the CEO is, bro? Here, let me pop out a document that I made. I made all these documents. What are you talking about? All right, let me see. Top, top of this, bro. How many do you have? I got like 50 documents yeah, from each I, parent of my I, family. All right, I got 50. I got 51. You just said you had 25. The uh, family project was assigned to us in September. And it was due in May, so we had a long time to work on it. Um, we get to make a spreadsheet for our family members and a link for each one, describing what they do and they're about their family life. Different times of the project, uh, Mr. Mendoza would check our projects to see how much we got in so far. We had checkpoints every once in a while, three to two weeks. Well, when, I did, uh, when I did my research, I talked with my uncle and my aunt in Honduras and they um, reassured my family and they sent me uh, pictures and <laughs> sent me pictures and all the, uh, the biography of all my family. De tu mamá, de tu papá, de, de todo, de la familia. She said the most important thing about helping me in the project was helping me figure out about my family back, back at home in El Salvador and helping me find out information about my mom and dad I didn't know when I was younger. In the family project, my mom had helped me a lot by arranging um, times and stuff like that for family to come, you know, either us go to their house and talk to them about, like, you know, their history and it took, stuff like It took a while. Yeah. Like, we would have to run into them, like, either at parties, you know, we'd have to pull them to the side at parties, you know, just to get quick information mm -hmm. and stuff. You know, family get-togethers, like anything, like we could have them like fill out some stuff. I made an own personal paper of like name, hobbies, and stuff like that, and have them fill that out. Taking pictures too. Yeah. And taking phone. single pictures of them too at parties, individual pictures. What we did was help me out with the. She, after every funeral, like a family member that passed, she just kept one of these that like has a date and when the born, like when they were born and when they passed, which really helped a lot because. Most of the people that passed away and stuff that I didn't really know about, um, I didn't know when they were born or like forgot when they passed because they passed before me. So this helped a lot with the spreadsheets and the dates. I want her to um, keep that information for herself so when she got her kids, the kids know where she's coming from. 
where her where were sus, uh, her uh, grandpa grandparents great grandparents so they know what what's their family background you know what they become what the job was what were successful on their career some people have some different careers so Long time that we took trying to gather all this information, but huh, after all, we now we know our family tree and now we know who we come from and who is around us. For the future. And I'm gonna pass it down to, to generations to just to keep it going, see how far it gets. What of the decision? Everyone, put your comments on the screen. Yeah, those are like the main ones. The main, the main citizens. It's going to be share, period two, pair, whatever pair you are. All right, there we go. We got pair 14, pair 6, pair 1, 15, 7, 16, 20. Where's the rest? So what do you think of the biggest problems here in the city? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, there's a lot of crime. So the first YouTube video has launched, but it was still not part of it. 638 percentage of his trade would be that from the Philippines. All right, folks, if you look at the screen, we got some of the spreadsheets done. Now we need to analyze the data. Whenever I needed help for Mr. Mendoza's class, I would just go to his website, mrmendoza.com, and everything would be here. The class notes, also the project links with Google Docs, which he taught us how to use with everything. And everything was there. I could just press on the See the family tree. <laughs> and then can you show them how that works? Click on one of the names there. Okay. Um, <laughs> go to my mom. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That looks really good. Uh, now, what do you have any? The family project is done. What are your plans in the future? Uh, to continue using it for the rest of my life. And in what way? Um, just continue as a family grows, just to add more and more, so that our future family members know who's been in here.